nail appointment today. I'm getting my nails done finally. I love having nail art, but I haven't been able to do it in a while because I got my acrylics and I had to take them off and I had to strengthen my nails before I went and did nail art again, but they're pretty strong, except on this hand, I have about three fingers that are broken, <laughs> so that's not fun, but here's my outfit of the day. This um, button-up shirt is from Club Monaco. My uh, biker shorts are from Aritzia. This sweater, it's like a varsity sweater. You can't see it right now, obviously, but this is also from Aritzia. My hat is from Lids. My mom's in the background, don't mind her. And then obviously I've got my bow tagged Jody, and then I have some um, crew socks that I'm pretty sure I got from like H&M or something. And then I have some jewelry because I like taking photos of my nails, you know, after I get my nails done. So I like to, you know, put some, some jewelry so I can get that photo. <laughs> anyway, let's go, I'm very excited. I just got my eyebrows done. I got a lash lift. Very happy about that. We do love that. I like fell asleep on like while I was laying down, like while I was getting my stuff done. And you know that thing that you do when you like are kind of falling asleep, but then you like your body like jolts like that. That happened and it was really embarrassing. fragrance that TikTok made me buy. This is one of the things that I got from Sephora. If you like smelling fresh, this is it. Uh, Maison Margiela Replica Bubble Bath. Ugh, it smells so good. And always, always store your fragrances in a cool, dark place. That's why I put them in a drawer. some new probiotics. I haven't taken probiotics in a really long time just because I was scared that it would interfere with my antidepressants. Uh, but after doing some research and asking my psychiatrist, there is literally no reason to feel that way. That was literally my anxiety talking. <laughs> Take my antidepressants. And my birth control. Okay, cool. And then Uncle Funky's daughter. Pearl Magic. And then this is like, this is a gel, right? Mm hmm Okay. Yep. That's the gel. And then this is just gonna help it like stay frizz free or like? It's gonna help. So it's supposed to help to speed up the drying time. It's also gonna help to give it like extra hold, oh. but flexible hold. Okay. So if like, say you wanted bigger hair, it would kind of, you would spray it in and, you know, cake a little bit and do that. And it's going to do that as well. It's a, what you do at the end of everything. So it also is supposed to help with a little frizz. Well. Okay. And then the mousse that I was telling you about is this, this one. The dew. It's like really, has like a nice little slip to it. And some girls will use it to do, like they'll do it, the washing goes, twist outs, rod sets, even blowouts, I've never done that, but yeah, it's really good for that. Okay, actually. and then I can use this by itself. Well, I, I'll try it like, yeah, by itself. Yeah, I'll try it by itself okay. first with really wet hair. Okay. Like, like you know, just soaking kinda, wet? Mm-hmm. Okay. She has volume, she has movement, she has definition. Um, 
Much needed haircut, folks. I found a new hair girl. She does curly cuts here in Long Beach. Um, and I'm very happy that I found her. I found her on Yelp, I think. Um, but I'm very glad that I found her because now I don't have to drive all the way to Studio City to get my hair cut or wait five months just for my appointment. It's not that bad! Welcome to luxury. <laughs> At least you have a place to stay. How <laughs> come the stars come oh to my shine? God. <laughs> So far away, show us where we are. No, no. Go to sleep every night, and what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. We're here. Whoa. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's. Just like me, a little bit scared of heights <laughs> Why does the rain always keep on pouring down When it's gray outside It really makes me wonder So I guess I didn't update you guys at all on what's been going on But we are currently at Big Creek Big Pine Creek Trailhead And we're going hiking! We did not know it was going to be snowing, but it makes sense because it's February. Uh, I thought that the snow would be like, you know, up there in the mountains and not like on the trail. <laughs> but there's snow here. So uh, I haven't been in snow in a really long time. We used to live in Montana, Colorado, Virginia, and Japan, and it snowed in all of those places. But it's been a really long time since I've like done an activity in the snow. So this is very fun. But thankfully, I came prepared anyway. today my friend Thea is here from London Woo! I just want to show you an outfit of the day my sweater is from and other stories my jacket is really old from Zara it's kind of too short for this outfit but I don't really care and then these sweatpants are from Cotton Citizen and then these sunglasses are from J. Crew. I didn't vlog this entire time because I forgot. <laughs> we dropped off my mom at the airport because I'm sending her on a birthday trip. And by the time this video gets uploaded, she will have already seen her surprise. So I'll just say it in this vlog. But my brother and I um, called the concierge at her hotel and uh, we ordered her like a whole room set up with like the big balloon that says 60 and then like a whole bunch of decorations. We got her some champagne and that will be ready for her arrival. So I'm very excited to see her reaction. And she said that she's gonna take a whole bunch of like footage, like vlog footage. So um, I'll put it in the next vlog so you, can get, you guys can see her little, her little trip. Um, but we just went to eat Filipino food and I forgot to vlog it because I was so hungry. 
But Thea's here. Mm -hmm. um, she's staying with me until Sunday, so we're just out here doing a whole bunch of fun things. Now we're gonna go shopping. Of course, we had to uh, take Miss Miss Anthea to uh, Debbie's Donuts right here in Long Beach. They're all vegan. I've talked about this on my channel so many times, but they're so delicious. So we got lemon pistachio, strawberry, blackberry, raspberry. This is uh, rose, rose strawberry rose. No, uh, something rose. What the hell is this? Well, it's rose something. This one is. Coffee pecan? Yeah, coffee pecan. And then we have two plain glazed donuts. If you're interested in a trying out- Lavender rose. Lavender rose, that's what <laughs> it is. If you are interested in trying any of these donuts and you're in the Long Beach area, I will leave all of their information in the description box down below. Before we um, try some donuts, I just want to show you guys what I got from Dior. Dior.com. This is like the gift packaging. <laughs> it's completely free, so I was like, you know, I might as well get it. Um, and it came with like a little card where you can write a message. And so I wrote myself a little message. It says to me from me. And you know why I did that? Because that is what it girls do. So this is what I got. I got the Dior uh, Lip Glow Oil because they're completely sold out at Sephora because TikTok popularized them so much. They are sold out at Sephora. And then I also got a another lip tattoo. Um, the one that I bought last time was a lot more red than this and I figured this like darker color might look better on my skin tone. I'm gonna try this lip oil. Okay, it's a little bit too sticky for my liking, but I guess it's cute. This is in the color 12, Rosewood. What do you think? <laughs> just slightly tinted. <laughs> I just uh, recorded my first podcast episode oh, for a new yeah. platform that I'm starting called Skinfluencer. And like the log line is like um, exploring beauty and fashion at the intersection of race, identity, and culture. It'll make more sense when I, you know, post like the first article and like post the first podcast episode. But I just filmed an episode with Josh. What's up, girly? What did we talk about in our podcast? Oh, girl. What didn't we talk about? A lot about race, a lot about gender identity, a lot about sexuality and coming into your own what about love we did not really talk about that anyway <laughs> so, um, not that <laughs> but anyway here is our very professional setup that we have going on here today you know it was saying? very professional it was as professional as i could get <laughs> honestly it was great i had a great time thank you <laughs> yeah but what if i want I feel like I should do a weekly reflection at the end of every vlog. <laughs> like, here's what I did, and then now this is what I took from it. This is what th this is my takeaway uh, from this week, even though it was like two weeks I didn't upload last week. But the first thing I want to talk about is this hike. It was the best and worst experience of my life. <laughs> I've never hiked in snow before. I've hiked in the heat. You know, I go hiking in LA all the time. I went hiking when I went to Hawaii. Like, I love hiking, but I've never hiked in the snow before. And it really, it was a test. <laughs> that hike was a test. So we drove five hours to um, Big Pine Creek Trailhead which shares like the same mountain as Yosemite. It was very cold and it was literally snowing. We had to like hike in the snow and climb slopes in the snow. It was really tough. Normally that hike would only take like eight hours to reach the first two lakes, but we didn't even reach the lakes 
because we were so tired from hiking in the snow, we had to turn back around before the sun went down. Um, so that we ended up hiking 13 miles and it took about 11 hours. And I've never hiked for that long before. Thankfully, we did, you know, pack lunch and we came prepared. We probably should have brought more water because we were rationing <laughs> our water on our way back because we were like, oh my God, we didn't pack enough water. And basically what I got from that experience was how, honestly, I'm amazed at what a human body is capable of. I cannot believe that I hiked 13 miles. Like, I can't believe my body did that. It's, it's amazing what our bodies are capable of. And I'm even more like proud of my mom who is 60 years old. She did that hike with us. Like that is so cool. <laughs> and in a way, like, I don't know. I feel like everybody should do like a, a really extreme activity every once in a while to kind of like humble yourself and to really ground you. And also not only to like ground you and humble you, but also just to like connect with the outdoors, connect with nature, connect with your environment. That was such a cool experience. And through this experience, I kind of understand like the spiritual um, reasoning behind Ramadan and like fasting and Lent and like, you know, all of these things, I kind of get it now because that was a that was an awakening, that hike. Uh, I feel like a different person. <laughs> I think everyone should do an extreme activity like this every once in a while. So before I said that this was the best and worst experience of my life, it was the best because of what I just explained, but it was the worst because it hurt so bad. My feet hurt so bad and I, I don't even know how to explain the pain that I was going through on that hike, but I just can't believe my body was able to go through that and recover. Like I'm totally fine now, but like I put her through a lot and she came back. She made it back home and now she's stronger. There's a lot of life lessons that you can learn from, from an activity like that. Another thing that I wanted to mention, I briefly mentioned this in the vlog, but I'm starting a new platform and podcast called Skinfluencer. And it is a platform where we will be exploring beauty and fashion at the intersection of race, identity, and culture. Those are all things that I love talking about. So I was like, what if we just like married them together? and created this entirely new platform. So that is going to be launching very soon. We filmed the first guest episode with Josh. I filmed the intro podcast episode and you know, there's gonna be interviews there, a podcast as well as like articles from guest writers and also like op-eds and things like that. I'm really excited for this platform. I've always wanted to, you know, explore beauty and fashion through a more like political, like socio-political lens. And um, this is like, this is what, this is the project that I came up with. So this is a passion project. I'm not like, you know, I'm probably not gonna make a lot of money from this. <laughs> Maybe in the future I will, but I just like really love talking about this stuff. So um, you guys can follow the Instagram right now, at Skinfluencer. Um, I'll put it right here on the screen. There's no I and no E on the last part. Well, well, I mean, you see it. <laughs> so that's very exciting. And then the last thing that I wanted to talk about was just holding myself accountable. I didn't upload a video last week. Um, I have not been the most reliable person when it comes to my business. And I don't like the way I feel because of that. So I just need to hold myself accountable and make sure that I'm putting systems in place to make sure that I get things done because I just hate being unreliable. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't want to be known as an unreliable person. So that is my takeaway from this vlog from these past couple of weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys next time.